Hello everyone, this is the Southern Girl, Southern Girl Gardening. I'm going to give you a quick tour of my garden. Let me give you a, a, um, a quick shot of this left section of my garden and I'll come up and tell you about each individual item. If we look here, I have two grape vines I actually picked up on sale. They were on clearance 50% off at Lowe's for $3.99. I need to transplant those and, and get them planted in a permanent location so I haven't done that yet but I'll get that taken care of here is a bell pepper plant if you look I have some little tiny bell peppers growing here I have an artichoke and here are two cherry tomatoes and if you look closely there are some tomatoes growing have another bell pepper plant here with bell peppers. Come on this side. Have another artichoke. More bell peppers. And here on the back section, growing up the lattice, these two plants are um, butternut squash. This is butternut squash. So I had to pull up a few plants. They weren't doing that well. Um, I tried to grow these last year. They didn't do well. So I'm trying again this year. So let's see what happens with that. We come here. This is okra. Yummy, yummy okra. And if you look here, I actually have some okra growing. So I'll be cutting that off in a couple of days. And there's more coming up back here. And then if you look way in the back, that is an acorn squash. This is more okra growing. I have marigolds. I plant marigolds throughout my garden to try to keep certain bugs away. Here I have one squash plant two squash plants i did actually have eight squash plants but um six of them were attacked with um a disease i think it was i think it's called that squash burrow or some type of bug had embedded itself in the stem and was just ruining the plants i had to take them up here's watermelon this is sugar baby and the more watermelons here these are nasturtiums now the watermelons, I did go and purchase these from a local nursery. I purchased these from Clegg's. Everything else was planted by seed. More marigolds. I just recently planted some more spaghetti squash seeds back here. My spaghetti squash plants had dried out. I had to throw them away. But I recently planted more seeds, so I'll see how that goes. We come on this side. This is my herb container. I have parsley and oregano growing here. Here I have green onions. If you look at the back here, this is a merloton. I've never planted one before. This is my first time planting one. I got it from a really good gardening friend of mine, Miss Barb. So I planted it and I'm gonna see what happens. If you look, all of these green vines that are just everywhere, these are my cucumbers and they are on steroids this year. They are doing amazing. I have picked so many cucumbers. I've given cucumbers away. It's just awesome. Here, this is where I planted um, most of my lettuce. I picked most of it. Um, and I recently planted more seeds. If you look closely, you can see more lettuce beginning to grow. Here, I have some more bell pepper plants. These aren't doing well, which is why I planted more in the other containers. I'm actually gonna get ready to peel, pull, um, pull these out soon. More marigolds. If you look here I have carrots growing here and all of the the greenery on top is kind of laying flat from when I watered this morning but that a lot of carrots here we're getting to my tomatoes a lot of tomatoes I have Roman tomatoes cherry tomatoes um, big boy tomatoes I have another variety of tomato that my friend Miss Barb gave me I don't remember the name, but she told me it's a purple tomato. So I'm just gonna watch them and see which tomatoes turn purple. We'll see if you notice, I mean, these tomatoes are covered. There are tomatoes everywhere, especially the Romas. I planted more Romas than anything this year because I really, really want to be able to make spaghetti sauce and can it. I came out here and I harvested um, eight tomatoes this morning. They were ready. That was my first tomato harvest. I hadn't been able to harvest any tomatoes prior to that because they were not ready. But I had eight. If you look here, I have a few more that are turning. I'll be picking those soon. 
this cucumber down here on the ground that's a Japanese long I came out this morning and actually harvested a lot of cucumbers so most of them I've taken down but I still have plenty more growing I mean look at this that is amazing cucumbers everywhere look at that everywhere you look cucumbers 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 so if you come on this side this is my celery plant I come out and I just kind of cut celery as I need it here are eggplants I did have an eggplant growing I had to pull it up yesterday because I noticed a bug had eaten a hole in it so that was my first eggplant you notice here I have another one swelling there I have tons I mean I'm gonna have a lot of eggplants this is a volunteer carrot that came up from last year and I have some yellow onions that I'm waiting to head here are my strawberry plants they're covered in netting to keep the squirrels away because I have not had a single strawberry because the squirrels have been eating them here another watermelon plant another watermelon plant marigold and then here if you see the vines coming out this is a potato plant I had a red potato in the house that had began to grow sprouts so I just stuck it in the garden I didn't really officially plant tomatoes this year because um, I just didn't plan to grow any but I decided to stick that one in the ground so we'll see what happens here are my green beans these plants I came out and I harvested the rest of the green beans this morning the plants are starting to fizzle out some I'm gonna be pulling these up soon because um, they're pretty much almost at the end of their life but I cooked green beans a few days ago and they were delicious in this bed here I have more pepper plants these are banana peppers we'll see um, how these do I had some blooms like a few peppers are gonna start forming have a bloom back there if you see all these little stringy things these are more green onions that I've planted here we have beets more marigolds we'll have pickle bush cucumbers at the back so once those um, grow I am going to pickle them if we look this way lattice that I added this year to um, give my vining plant something to grow up I think next year I'm gonna make that a little bit higher add another row well, oh, Mr. Scarecrow here, I added him to try to keep some of the bugs away. So on my next video, I plan to give you a tour showing you um, my fruit trees and my berry bushes that are going on. So you guys have a great day. This is the Southern Girl Gardening. Check it out. Thank you for watching my videos.